So next thing we're going to learn about the storage classes. So every variable in C has two features like its type and storage class. Like type specifies the type of the data can be used stored in the variable. So that is integer, float, character, string and whatever the things are there. Similarly, and storage class controls two different properties of a variable. That is lifetime how determines how long a variable can exist and scope determines which part of the program can it access. So C language has four storage classes that is auto, external, static and register. So we're going to see one by one these things in the VS code. So if I see, you know, auto has storage class, you know, storage in stack and initial value is going to be garbage and scope within the block and life with end of the block. So these things we are going to see in the VS code. What does external storage that is in the data segment initial value is going to be zero for static initial value is going to be zero you know global multiple files within the block and till the program ends that time this values you know life is so we're going to see we're going to jump to the VS code and we're going to see first the auto you know why the auto keyword this these are the keywords we're going to see and what the storage classes means basically so we're going to go to the VS code and see there let's jump there and see it let's see the auto register static extern keywords one by one so for that I'll create a new program and we'll name it as 41 and write auto dot C so these are the storage classes what is the thing we're going to see so static storage classes are the variables Okay, before uh, running the static, so I'll uh, go through the auto first. So auto storage classes are the variables will be created automatically and destroyed automatically. So automatic storage classes, class variables will be stored in stack area of the data segment or in the CPU register. So under automatic storage classes, we have two types that is auto and register. For the static storage class, we have two types that is static and external. So first thing we're going to see is auto stat auto you know storage class in C so for that I'll write the header file hash include and stdio.h all right so here I'm going to write the main function let's write the main function okay before writing the main function let's write one function for that let's write void and name function be abc so this is the function I have created all right now here let's define it with the auto so auto end a equals to 5 so what does it mean we'll understand as the code go up like we move forward so i'll do increment a plus plus and i'll print the thing so i'll write printf and i'll write go to the next line a is equals to percentage b and it's going to be printed in a right so this is how it will be written now i'll write the main function for that in main and in the main function i'll call the above function so let's call the function three times a b c this is calling one time a b c so what i'll do is i'll just copy this Control C and paste it. And at the last, I'll write it's an integer type, so I'll return zero at the last. I'll hit Control S before running the code. The variable which is created by using the specifier auto within the block is called auto variable. So we have created the auto variable here. The auto storage class in this default storage class of the local variable. So the lifetime of the auto variable is restricted within the body so while the number of times we are calling the function that may that many times it will be created again and again so this is what auto keyword is so i'll right click here before right clicking i'll clear it out first so let's clear it and it will be printed a plus plus is there right i right click here run the code and a equals to 6 a equals to 6 that is the thing so this is the auto keyword right so lifetime of the auto variable is restricted within the body body 
you know why the number of times we are calling the function that many times it will be created again so this is what auto keyword is so now i'm going to see the next thing that is the register keyword for that i'll create one more file and write this 42 and register.c again what we'll do we'll write the header file for that hash include stdio.h and here we'll be writing everything in the main function so in the main and let's write so I'll, we'll use the register keyword and let's declare a variable in a equals to let's value to be 10 so after that let's increment it a plus plus it will be incrementing the value by one now i'll use the print f statement and i'll print it and i'll write it as value of a that is percentage d is what a that a it's going to be printed so value is going to be printed 11 we understand now i'll use one more printf and here what i'll do is go to the next line and after that i'll say enter a value so we're going to take it from the user let's say we're going to write scanf for that scanf and here suppose we want to take value from the user percentage d and i'll write a here so we have taken input from the user and I'll decrement it here a minus minus all right now here we again go to print and see what value it's giving out so let's go to the next line and I'll say value of a is going to be percentage d and that is going to be stored in a so this is the user what is the user register keyword so it's a special kind of variable that stores in the cpu register the advantages of register variables are faster than remaining variables the register storage class is used to define local variables that should be stored in the register instead of ram this means that the variable has maximum size equals to register like usually one word and can't have unary like that is ampersand operator applied to it so this is how we write so if you see one thing to note here is register storage class specified first recommended by the compiler to hold variable in cpu if that memory is available or stored in the stack area data segment so if you don't understand this thing also that is completely fine so this is how this register keyword we use basically i'll hit ctrl s i'll right click here before running the code we can understand 10 is going to be a is going to be printed as 11 and it's going to ask me value here so i'll give some value and it will show some value to it also so value printed is 11 and it is asking for the value because we have scan f you use scan f let's give value 50 here so it will be decremented and it will be showing 50 49 right after i hit enter it didn't show the value so something some mistake we did i so i got the you know error in the scan f we didn't pass the address we have to pass the address right so here we pass the address and i'll save the code control s I'll right click here before running the code I'll clear it out I'll right clear it will look better I'll click right click run the code and here you can see okay one thing you can see that is showing error because why it is showing error is because the register keyword is obsolete now and has been removed in the recent versions of C standard so it is best to avoid it so no use of learning about register if i remove this keyword register you will see then it will run very smoothly i'll hit ctrl s i'll right click here run the code 
and see values printing to be 11 from 10 to 11 now it is asking for the scan if it is asking for the value let's enter a value 56 so after 56 entering value it will decrement it and it will show 55 so it is showing so what i found after that is that you know register keyword is obsolete now and has been removed from the recent versions of c standard so the c standard i'm using that is the latest versions so that's why it is showing error it has been removed from the pilot so this is all about you know register keyword similarly if you go and there are keywords about you know we talked about auto and register so similarly there is static storage classes you know that is static and external are there so better you don't use it you know those things because you know those are obsolete so i'll leave it here and if you want to see you know you can search for that you know th that is coming under you know storage classes are divided into two parts automatic and static automatic is divided into two parts that is auto and register and static is divided into two parts that is static and extern similarly so those are obsolete now that's why you know we don't like we're not going to study about those let's jump to the new topic now